Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Isparos Jarnin. We are back to Beat Cop being a cop, returning to the life of a cop. Rise and shine. What's so funny, McNabb? Kelly, had your hands full yesterday, huh? You took care of the most important thing, which was Igor, right? Igor Denko was happy, ecstatic even. So much so, he wants to stay here and work with you. Please, no! But it's already in Novosibrisk. Central's been complaining about the number of calls. But I stood up for you, Kelly. I know you did your best. What else do we have? You met your ticket quota. You got three vehicles towered. Good job. So in summary, you did an outstanding job. Notepads out, listen up. You need to write up four tickets for lights and patrol your beats. All right, I gotta take a piss. Briefing's over. Four lights, that's something I've never did in Beat Cop, but we will see. So this is day five, chocolate flavor was it called or something of the sort? Probably has something to do with the color of people. I am trying to envision here things that sometimes are easter eggs, I don't see much. Maybe over here this is something? You guys tell me in the comment section if you see this as an easter egg. Let's see what the other guys have to say. Chin up Kelly, you got the quiet neighborhood. There's worse? Look at your fellow officers, they're practically animals now. And then she says, Oh, you're like a fireman, put my fire out. And? I put it out so hard she almost drowned. Ah, see what I mean, Kelly? Yes, boss. The crew's meeting this afternoon, that's your beat, Kelly. Maybe you should drop by? How do you know? Fat Mike was keeping an eye on them. We know a little something about them. Interesting. Uh, okay. Pig. It's the ribs. Shit, you eat ribs for breakfast? I had some left from yesterday. Now I know what reeked in that locker room. What do you know? Damn. Ribs for breakfast. Sergeant Holloway? What? I got a personal question. What? You yell like that at home at your wife? Yeah, I tell her, get your ass on the street and catch some punks. Yes, sir. William Jackson's trial is starting. Who? The crew member who took a mafia guy last year. We'll be transporting him at 4 p.m. Then I'm watching the courthouse. F that! Okay, for the ones wondering why do I always say F this, F that, it's because I'm trying to curse as, l as minimal as possible in this game, although that's a pretty tough thing to do. So today I got five tickets for lights, but, um... I'm not entirely sure how to do that. That's not something I've did. Officer! May I bother you for a moment? Sure, do you need any help? Not exactly. I can offer your... I can offer you help in case you are tired of your work and have a few bucks saved. Okay, how much does it cost? Two thousand! Two thousand? Seriously? One-way ticket to Mexico. A bit pricey, but trust me, it's worth your money. Peaceful property, senoritas and tequila. What else can a man ask for? I'll think about it. We will meet in two weeks. If you gather enough cash, take care, Jack. What? Oh. APBs, light tickets, four. Conduct a morning patrol of the entire street. Check both ends of the street for trouble. Okay. What was that about Mexico? What the hell? Alright, so we're gonna check this car. Check lights. Are these good lights? Yes, they are good. I guess the front ones were not good, but the back ones are, so... Finish patrol before 11 a.m. Okay. Check lights over here. Hold up, I don't know what are good and bad lights. Uh, let me check the notepad again. So, okay, gotcha. These are bad lights, gotcha. When they have, they have a hole in them, I suppose. So, check lights. This is a good light, good light, and I guess we're gonna skip that one. Let's get to this car. I need to go to i5 Electronics. That's where my beat ends. Wait, already? What? Okay. These are good. Good. And finally good. Alright. This is taking some time to find some bad lights. Good light. Good light, I suppose. Bad light. And there we go. I guess we can find this one. So, write a ticket for lights. Done. So I need to be uh, at the Hi-Fi Electronics by 11 a.m. 
Okay, good light. Good light. Good light. And good light. Alright, what is that guy doing over there? It's quiet here. Time to check the other end of the street. Okay, I'm checking the lights though. I am a little bit lost, I confess, in this patrol part. Oh, here's a bad light. So, write a ticket, lights. Am I slacking? Man, I don't have much time left. Alright, let's go back to the other end of the street. That's something we need to do, apparently. 421, go to Adamski's store. They caught a thief. A thief, I mean. I know, on my way. Okay. Uh, Adamski's, that's uh, over... Hold up. It wasn't our darkies that took out Fat Mike. Really? They actually want to find out who it was. Desperate measures. Go on. But guess who's celebrating? Those lying... Whoops. Thanks for the info. This whole deal reeks of bullshit. I think I gotta play dumb. Wait, who was that? Adamski's, here we are. How's it going, Adamski? Any troubles? Ganef! Daylight robbery! What'd it take? Gummy bears! Haha, <laughs> aren't you a little old for gummy bears? Or are you a little girl? No, screw you! You're making life hard for me and Adamski. I'll have to teach you a lesson. You got a back room here, Adamski? Let me think. There's a freezer in the back. Hey, what are you gonna do? I don't have time to F around with paperwork. You'll do your time in the freezer. You gotta be kidding me. Lock him up in the freezer. Help! Somebody help! I'll come back later to let him out. Is there anything inside he could hurt himself on? No, it's empty. Just very cold. He can't stay in there for too long. So let's try not to forget about the scumbag. Alright, I'll be back for him uh, before 4 p.m. Alright, let's try to remember that. Okay, moonwalk and the donut. Oh, hold up, but I need to go to the other side. Oh, gosh. Hold up, we are trying to be good with Mafia, though. If I stop them, they're gonna complain about me. So, moonwalk, it's over here. One of the places. Hey there! How's business? This isn't the best time, it was just... Shut it! I know full well what's going on here. You should go now. We'll talk in private. God damn it, I'll arrest him. I'm not gonna let this slide, not on my shift. You're giving back that money and coming with me. We'll remember this. You're under arrest! Central, I need a squad car to come pick up a perp. An Italian perp. So, we are getting in trouble with the Mafia now. Okay, I need to finish patrol in 30 seconds. This is not bueno. I don't think I can reach the other side of the street in 30 seconds. I'm gonna try. But it's gonna be quite hard. There we go. Mafia friendship was hurt. But at least we are getting on good terms with the other gang. Which we are on very bad terms. Okay, 601. Let's go. Oh, come on, stop it! I have a message for you. What is it? From who? What is it? From the senator. Who else? The contents of the safe need to be found. That's a friendly warning. I don't have the diamonds. They weren't there. It's not just the diamonds. What else? Try to remember. Goodbye. Alright, get out of here. I don't think I'll be able to do this in time. Okay, 601 is over here. Gotcha. This is 421. I've finished my morning patrol. The area's quiet. Waiting on your afternoon report. Alright, I did that. What's up, Captain? Need anything? I got that good shit for $20. <laughs> not today. Maybe next time. There's one more thing. I need protection. A couple of meatballs came around yesterday around 4 p.m. They said they'll check today if I'm selling again. Be around at that time and we'll both have saved some trouble. I'll refuse that. I'm not gonna help someone selling drugs. Look at that guy up there. <laughs> That's so cool. What do we need to do? Man, I am so lost. And let's not forget at 4 p.m. I need to take the guy out of the freezer. Um, let's see. We should go to the donut. Let's go to the donut to stop the mafia guy. We still have time for that. One minute. We need to write some tickets as well, but let's get to the donut restaurant right over here. Hello, gentlemen. Not a good time, copper. Beep, beep, beep. What? The F? What? Beep, beep. You hear that? The hell are you doing? It's my Dago scumbag detector. So either you move your slick ass out of here, or I'll do it for you. 
Tataglia, does that mean anything to you, officer? Arrest him. Him I know, but not you. This is my beat. You're going to the precinct. I know your face, cocksucker. <laughs> you are under arrest. So, I'm not sure this is actually good because we are losing now friendship with the Mafia. I was working for somewhat the good side of the Mafia and the bad side of the gang. I'm not sure this is going to be that great. So, let me check over here the cars for bad lights. So, check lights. Front are always good. It's always the back ones that are bad. Okay, let me visit the Italians. They should not be happy about me stopping their business. Yeah, that's what this guy's gonna tell me, probably. Hello, officer. We have a small favor to ask. What is it? We're looking for Alfonso's car. It's one of ours. We want to know where he parks because we have certain suspicions. It's a black Crodillac, Cro license plate GA. Look for the car. I don't know what a Crodillac is, but I know what the black collar looks like. So, I guess we could look for that. And I didn't quite memorize the License plate. Halfway there, 421. Time flies, doesn't it? Why would you stop me to say that? I could be shooting someone. I could be in the middle of arresting someone. So, black car. Cardillac must look like a really good car. I mean, this is blue, right? And this looks like a Cardillac. But this is not... Check meters, check plates, check plates. No, this is not it. Alright, so I need to check not only for the right car... But the right license plate, I suppose. Uh, but, oh, here's one. It was J... J something. J-A, yeah, this is the one. So, search car? I can't do it. Why can I not search the car? Isn't this the right car? This is 421. A fire broke out at 631. The fire department's needed. Uh, okay. Understood. Get the car blocking the five hydrant tower. Don't get in the way. Okay, where's that? Oh, here we go. This is this is the car that I wanted to find. So, Hydrid, uh, what is that? Hold up. I need to get the car out of the way. Where is the fire hydrant? You wanted me to check that car for you. We did. Did you find anything? It looks like whoever's driving it, it's in the cahoots with the crew. I found the car parked by the pawn shop. I see. Please accept this token of, of gratitude. Oh, Mafia. Nice. Alright, but uh, this will not pause the game, will uh, Will it? 629, 631. I'm not going to do this in time now. God dang it. Yeah, I'm going to fail this one. This is central. What's so hard about getting a tower towered? F, I didn't get there in time. The fire department's going to be there soon. Leave the car. Of course, they'll damage it when they move it. And who's going to pay for that? Me? I had something else to do. Let's see. Um, this actually is paused. Alright, so... Let the thief out of the freezer between 2 and 4 p.m. Gotcha. What else is out there? I can write some more tickets. And this issue over here is now solved, right? Yeah. Dad, Dad! Dena, what are you doing here? I wanted to talk. Dena is actually my mother's name. What happened? You don't hate me no more? Dad, stop it. Let's go inside the church. We can talk there. Okay. I didn't even know I had a child. What happened? I know you got problems. Not the first time. I know more than you think. How? Let's just say I have a friend. Who's also a friend of yours. Who? I can't say. You wouldn't want that. Who is it? A friend of mom's. A new friend. I wasn't exactly friendly with the last one. I heard what happened from him. I want you to get out of this. That makes two of us. And I'm innocent. I don't want a crook for a dad. You taught me about honesty. I also taught you to go potty. Dad, I'm serious. Nothing healthier than a regular bowel movement. It's about time you cleared your name. Our name. Of all this shit. I like it when we use the shit metaphors. I need to go. You'll s I'll see you later. I love you. I know. She looks like a very young kid, not the one that should be, you know, helping me out, clearing my own name. Let's go back and let's try to find some more cards. If we can... Ticket... Uh, what is it? Eight of them? 
we should be able to double our ticket quota. Uh, our paycheck, I mean. So, write a ticket, lights. That's five of them. I'm gonna go to Adamski's to check the guy on the freezer. So I need to be there before 4 p.m. And that should be right about now. I need also to go to the pawn shop. Had enough? I'm um, freezing. He give you any trouble? He made some noise for a while, then went quiet. I w wonder why. You're gonna keep stealing? Nah, never again. I swear on my mom's grave. It better be the last time. No, 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 never again. Unless you want me to lock you up with Mandingo. Please, no! Get lost. Thank you, officer. My pleasure. Goodbye. Alright, this is done. This is central. What do you have for us? The matter's been taken care of. It was enough to write him up and give him a warning. Alright, this is done. Oh, I got some money from that as well. So, I need to go to the pawn shop, I believe. Right now. Crew meeting at the pawn shop at 4 p.m. Let's go there. We're right about the time. The right time. So pawn shop over here. It's quiet here. Time to check the other end of the street. Oh, hold up. Don't, don't I need to get in here? There we go. We're closed for renovation. And I'm here to perform an inspection. Inspection now? Yeah, why? We're having a meeting. This is real bad timing. Insist. I ain't a fan of meetings. They stress me out. Like I give an F. This is our turf. You wanna stand in the corner while I trash the place? Without a warrant, you can't kiss my ass. Wanna bet? F face. Nah. We'll remember this. Okay, that's done. And now we gotta go to the opposite side of the street. So let's move over there. I'm trying not to finish all my stamina because that normally leads to bad times. Keep moving. We need some more stamina, I believe. So, probably just eating once per day is not gonna be amazing. We need to eat more than that, and I don't mean the hookers. Okay? This end of the street. I finished my afternoon patrol. The area's quiet. Enough patrolling for today. All is done, then. Let me check some more cars for lights, bed lights. I suppose you have two ways of finishing the game, or to complete this part of the game, I suppose. You either clear your own name, or you run away to Mexico. I want to clear out my own name. I don't want to know what happens if you reach minus 100 reputation with the crew. I believe something really, really bad happens. I need to try and do something with my money. I have so much money. Uh, maybe I could spend it on something good, really good. Oh, hold up. I didn't complete all my duties? Why? Because of this job over here? God dang it. That was a really hard one to to do. If I check my notepad, I would know what to do. That was my bad, actually. Okay. Day 6. Broken promises. Gotcha. Rise and shine! You've met your ticket quota. And all the tickets were lawful. Good work. You patrolled your beat lawfully. As for stepping in, you prevented two extortion attempts. Good job. I heard you locked a choplifter in a freezer. Boss, it's not like that. It's too bad about Fat Mike. I do support rehabilitation at the very root of crime. Alright, enough for today. There might be a promotion in your future. Who knows, maybe in 10 to 20 years, you'll be replacing me. Grab your notepads and take this down. You need to write 12 tickets of any kind. 12. Okay. That's the mayor's one, my ass. There's not enough money coming in from the tickets. And one more thing. We got a trip that the crew is taking deliveries in your neighborhood. Find a suspicious vehicle and call it in. Before they start selling pills to... School something? Sniff around the pawn shop for starters. Where are you all looking at? That's all. Okay. Uh, let's check the sergeant. You're a complete zero, just like the rest of them. I always liked lots of zeros. Watch it, Kelly. Have fun walking around, losers. F off, McNabb. At least they like me in my neighborhood. No one likes you. You wouldn't give a crippled crab a crutch. That's what the law's for. You're gonna die alone. Wow. Anyone seen my notepad? You probably sat on it again and your ass swallowed it. Dumb Fs. Sorry, you were asking for it. Your mom's asking for it. Ooh. So anyway, you heard there will be undercover cops out there today. Who? The ones from IA. They'll be scooping us out. 
then you better not take any bribes, McNabb. This happened before. This is really good info. It basically tells you that uh, you cannot take bribes today or there's a chance you're going to be found out. Did I tell you guys about last night? Yeah, 100 times. He was awesome. You know what, Cortez? What is it, darling? I think you're a gay. You try to cover it by talking about all the pussy you bang. Bang. Bang? Take a shower with me and I'll show you how wrong you are. I'm so tempted. Maybe some of your colleagues, of our colleagues, want to join in? Let them see what a stud you are. Where's your sense of romance, girl? That's what I thought. You're all talk. Something funny? No, boss. Then straighten up. You're doing a shit job out there. I've got enough of this goddamn smog. Get a mask. How would I eat? You ain't bothered? You should be glad you ain't working in LA. You can literally see the air there. Alright, that's gonna be all. Here's one of the easter eggs in this game. Let's continue. So, day six. Twelve tickets. Okay, I just need to guarantee that they are good tickets. This guy should not be parked here. So, I'm gonna write a ticket right now. So, parking violation. I don't need to send a truck to tell them. So, let's continue. That's gonna be a waste of my time. The no cars. Okay, can we eat already? Let me see. We want coffee. What? I cannot run for some reason. Oh, I cannot get into the moonwalk yet. It's too soon, too early. All right, what is this car all about? Check the tires, maybe? That's a good tire. Good tire. And good tire. Forget about it. Let's move on to this one. I guess the easiest way to do this would be just waiting for the time to expire on on the parking. Skip check. Let's continue over here. So I also need to be careful with smugglers, right? That's what I was told near the pawn shop. Let's continue over here. I ticket that one. This is central. There's a disturbance in front of the moonwalk. Let us know if you need backup. I was just there. Why couldn't you do it earlier? Okay, what's going on? A guy in a suit. What's the crowd about? You blind? We all got the same problem. We can't buy coffee. This is the only place in the area. And it's closed. First time in years. Oh, so that's why I can't get in. Maybe something happened. Shouldn't you be the one checking? We need our caffeine. Those two over there just beat the shit out of each other. Cause one of them cut in the line. I'll talk to Norma. You know where she lives? At 625. You'll need to ask around for the apartment number. 625, okay. I'm gonna have a few drinks hard Rick Cafe. 625. Where's Norma? Okay, can I ask you? I guess not. So 625 is over here. Let's call... Hold up, shouldn't I have her name over here? Let's call Batman. Hello? This is Officer Kelly, I should say. Hold up. Which apartment is no Norma's? The owner of the moonwalk? You got a warrant? I don't need a warrant. I just want to talk to her. They always got a warrant in the movies. Old bag, you can't smell the formaldehyde. If you're lying, I'll do boiling water on you from the window. Err... Uh... Threaten! If you don't open the door right now, you old trout, I'll shoot the mailman. No more pension. Are you insane? Norma lives in the apartment 7. That wasn't so hard. Apartment 7, so that's Montana. Norma, Montana. Police, can we talk? Yes, come in. Sorry for the mess. I got a call about a disturbance in front of your establishment. The two customers beat each other up by the front door. One of them cut in the line in front of the other. Wow, was it bad? Yeah, you got a dozen folks outside. Can you tell me why is it closed? I have a few regulars, but I didn't know it was... Compliment the restaurant. Criticize the closure. That's compliment, I suppose? A few? You serve the best coffee in the... Barauch? You know how many people start their day with a cup of your joe? Norma, can you do something about this? This neighborhood needs peace. It's not that easy. Michelin made a reservation for this afternoon. So you close the entire restaurant for him? Not for him, before him. I don't understand. Michelin's one of those food critics. He writes reviews for a few papers in the city. He uses a bunch of fake names, but I recognize him. So he's been to the moonwalk before. A few years ago, he almost shut it down, writing about all the bad shit in Brooklyn. Piece of... Was this justified? Not really. 
Well, there might have been something. Something? What thing? It's not important, really. Norma? It's nothing, really. Come on. A rat took a shit in this soup. Jesus. Michelin said the same thing. Then he ran out screaming. Hmm. Agree with Norma. You know, they give us lunch for free, so yeah. It's no big deal. You just had a bad day. I'm sure it won't happen again. Lightning don't strike the same spot twice. Looks out the window at the moonwalk. And business is still booming. So what's with all the ruckus? He can't write something like that again. I'd rather close the place than let him in. This is Brooklyn. No place is perfect. That rat still lives there. <laughs> and even the rat's afraid of the roaches. What about an exterminator? Out of the question. If the customers see him, I'm done. I might be able to help you, but I need the keys to the restaurant. I'll get some poison. No one will know a thing. Really? How could I repay you? We'll think of something. We need to get that place open yesterday. Okay, so now to call the bug expert. Let's go in here. Shitty Roach, how can I help you? Hey, this is Officer Kelly. I'm gonna need some pesticide right away. I'll give you the address and no questions, okay? But we don't have any in the stock. So what do you guys kill the bugs with? Well, sarcasm doesn't work. You've been watching too many movies? The last batch went to the donut. That's in your area. It was really bad there. Shit! One time the roaches were the customers. You guys are a riot. Okay, down to the moon then. Mm, to the donut, I mean, not the moon. Gosh, they have roaches everywhere. What is it? Listen to me. We have proof. Go on. Where? Here? I mean, not us. Not here, shit. I effed everything up. Jaron's gonna kill me. Calm down one more time. Breed. I was supposed to tell you to call Lieutenant Jacobs at the DEA in Baltimore. I'll tell you that well, I'll tell you what happened to Fat Mike. All right, but if you got something wrong, no, this time is important. Do it today. Hold up. Immediately call Jacobs at the DA in Baltimore. All right, hold up. Hiya, heard you had a roach problem? Yeah, it happens. And how do you handle it? We supplement their freegan diet with pesticide and things are good for a few weeks. Do you have any of it left? Sure. We buy it in bulk. I'll go get it. Where is she? I'm back. Mind if I ask why you need it? We've got a problem at the precinct. Oh, you liar. Okay, let's go to the moon then. We're gonna do it ourselves? We want coffee! Hold up. It's coming, buddy. Damn it, it really is a cesspit down here. So, spray everything. Spray is pesticide. I can barely breed! Everything's spinning! Just the kitchen left and I'm out of here. Uh, Hold up. Do we need to do it again? What the F is that? Hey, what do you got there? Is it talking to me? A man-sized cockroach? What you think? Rubs eyes. Weren't planning on using that, were you? Points to the pesticide box. I already did. Listen me, man. Shit's not so effing simple. You can't just wipe out living history like that. What are you talking about? We've been here for hundreds of years. This is not happening. My great 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 Ten minutes later. Great 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 Rash. During the Battle of Long Island, he lived in the outhouse of George Washington himself. You're chitting me. It wasn't too far from here. Besides, do I look like I'm joking? In 1863, his brother, Typhoid, lived through the fighting in General John Wool's pants. Hands down, this is the best shit I've ever huffed. Our family's built on stories like that. You sure you want to take that to the kitchen? That's just a little spritz and boom holocaust? But I'm banging you, man. I'll tell you my cousins to stop eating the coke in your fridge. Cake, I mean. But I promise. I'll put the kibosh on my brother-in-law eating your leftovers. You sleep with your mouth open, right? The owner. We'll even stop shitting in your popcorn! You've gone too far. Sorry, I made a promise to the owner. I understand. Really, there's nothing I can do but spray everything. You're the funniest cockroach I ever met. What a trip. But I got my obligations. Reality calls. Spray pesticide in the kitchen. So that guy is dead now. What the hell is going on in here? 
Norma, here are your keys. Did it work? Pretty much. Nothing weird went down? Uh, no? Why would you ask that? No reason. I just wanted to make sure everything went alright. In that case, it's time to open. Come after 3.30pm. Th You'll see how I did. Good luck, I'll definitely drop by. Alright, we're open. Everybody come inside! Nice, finally. This is done with. Very strange, but it's done with. This is Kelly in New York. I'd like to speak to Lieutenant Jacobs, please. I think you mean Agent. Yes, Agent Jacobs. This is Jacobs. Jack Kelly, NYPD. Do we know each other? Why are you calling me? Fat Mike. That drive-by in New York a few days ago? Why is Baltimore so interested in us? We have a few suspects. We're working them over because they don't want to talk. In Baltimore? Are you sure it's them? One of them is cracking. We also have a matching weapon. That's good news. I don't know. A word of warning? Yes. Mike wasn't the target. You were. What? Yeah, we don't know on those uh, whose orders. But this is political. It reeks a mile off. This is conversation never happened. Thanks. I need to verify this somehow. Who do I know in Baltimore? Ah, Gibson. I'll call him. Homicide unit. Jack Kelly, NYPD. DP, I mean. Can I speak to Lieutenant Gibson? This is Gibson. Kelly here. Someone needs to get killed for us to talk? Things got a little effed up on your end, huh? A little. I'm trying to work my way out of it. I've got a quick question. Shoot. Jacob's from the DEA. You know him? It just so happens I do. Can he be trusted? Or is he a corrupt asshole? You can trust him just like me. Oh, then I'm not so sure. F you, asshole. Alright, I'm just yanking your, your chain. Thanks for the confirmation. Sure, you need help? I gotta take care of this myself. I'll be in touch. Right. Later. I know something. But there's more I don't know. I'm still in the crosshairs. Huh. Car theft reported at 6.05. Okay, 6.05, let's go there. So, basically, I think the senator is trying to kill me. If there's politics involved, it must be the senator. The guy that I supposedly stole the jewelry from. So, I could stop to talk with these guys, but I don't want to. Let's go on over here. Uh, do, what do I need to do? 6.05? Here I am. Uh, what? Hold up. R 6.05, he was over here. Hold up, did I fail to see the guy? Was I supposed to arrest him? I have no clue. Alright, let's talk to this guy over here. Good to see you! We've got a small favor to ask. What is it? We're looking for a tricycle. A tricycle? Yeah, a red tricycle. I got stolen. It got stolen this morning. If you were to find it, come see me. I'll be waiting here. We'll pay, of course. A tricycle. Alright, let's uh, sign those tickets. We have a lot of them. So this one deserves a ticket. Oh, here's a tricycle. Okay, but there's a kid right next to it. Red tricycle. Inspect. Traces of white powder on the frame. Try it? This powder could put someone away for 20 years. Why are you licking my bike? I'll tell my dad. Um, why are you scaring my kid? Arrest and report tricycle. Yeah. This tricycle is covered in narcotics. You're under arrest! I need a squad car to come up, pick up a perp. Hold up. The Mafia won't like this, I think. I should have told the Mafia guy and not report this to the police. Now, maybe the Mafia will not take this lightly. I'm gonna check them out and see. But I'm pretty sure the guy's not gonna be happy about this. Oh, hold up. Specialists came and took away the bike 15 minutes later. Mm hmm. All because of a single bike. Remember those daily tasks. All right, all right. Quit busting my balls already. Time flies, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's keep checking for tickets. And did you find it? I found it, but we got a problem. I found drugs on the bike. Maybe 100 can solve that problem. Turn a blind eye. Why not? Why not? Where can we find it? I had to call it in. That's too bad. That was an expensive tricycle. Hold up. They're not gonna like this. Oh gosh. Well, I still got my 100. So I'm happy about that. I'm just not sure what I'm gonna do exactly with the money. You know? If, uh, if I don't plan to go and run to Mexico, I'm not exactly sure why should I invest in more money. But you know what? We can also get a pizza. Why not? Eat something. Man, I need to eat something. Pizza today. Sounds good. Sure does. $200 to get rid of the Mafia's 
Not the Mafia, it's the crew's problem. Let's pay. Alright, here's a dosh, Padre. I'll put in a good word with the crew. Come again if you need help. Okay. So that's a lot of money gone. Oh my god, 10 crew only? I thought it would just clear the reputation. All gone. Starting from the scratch. That's not good. I'm glad you enjoyed the soap, the soup so much. Yes, the soup was exquisite. George Washington himself would be over the moon. What the hell? Whoa, that's very nice of you. Officer, you should order. The corn soup is to die for. The fat ass got height on pesticide. Have a pleasant day, everyone. Until next time. I'm out too, Norma. I see everything went very well. Yes, you were great, officer. I own you a canolo, at least. First things first. Okay, this is done for. What else are we gonna do throughout the day? We have actually nothing to do, which is uh, not normal. We have $164, and uh, our reputation with the crew is really, really bad. We lost a lot of money because I paid the padre. We are not on good terms with the mafia, and we are not on good terms with the crew. We need to be careful with that. If we are not good, I didn't report a suspicious vehicle belonging to the crew. Oh my god. That was not good. This day overall was not great at all. And uh, there's one thing I wanted to say. I am not in good terms with the Mafia and I'm not in good terms with the crew. If we are not in good terms with one of them, we should be in good terms with the other one. So that's what I'm going to try to focus on on the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this Beat Cop Let's Play. If you are, let me know in the comment section so that I know if I should continue with it or not. Lastly, don't forget to like the video, that helps a lot the channel and the video itself. And I'll be back on the next episode. My name has been Tispero Journey, have a good day, bye bye. <laughs>